Kevin in Texas. So Texas Longhorns football has finally arrived. The 2022 regular season is upon us. And as we count down the days to week zero, I wanted to give a preview of the 22 season for the beloved Texas Longhorns. Week one sees the University of Louisiana at Monroe visit Darrell K. Royal Memorial Stadium. And I think this will be a pretty handy victory for the Longhorns. The talent differential between these two teams is just too much. I also think that Texas has gelled a little bit more since the start of the previous season. So this should be a very big win for UT. Week two sees the game of the season at Darrell K. Royal Memorial Stadium when Alabama comes to visit the Longhorns. Now, I think Texas will show flashes in this game. I think there's going to be moments where UT really looks good. But there's a difference between a 5-7 and seven team and a team that almost won the national championship. I think Texas loses this game by at least three touchdowns. Again, they'll look good in spots. They'll save some face. But this should be a fairly substantial loss to Alabama in Week 2. In Week 3, the University of Texas San Antonio visits Austin. This will be a bounce-back game for the Horns. This is when the team, I think, really starts to gel. They take the butt-whipping from Bama, they learn from it, they move on, and they win what could be a somewhat close game against UTSA. Week 4, the first road game for the University of Texas, traveling to Lubbock in what usually is a fairly challenging atmosphere for UT. In this instance, I think Texas does win on the road. It also could be another track meet victory for UT. Either way, though, Texas will win this game against Texas Tech. Week 5 sees the Horns come back to the safe haven of DKR, where they face off with a very challenging West Virginia team. This game, in my opinion, will be down to the wire. Texas, though, wins in the end. And this leads us to the Red River Shootout in Dallas on October the 8th. This game is probably the most unpredictable game in college football because it doesn't matter what the records are. It doesn't matter what the aspirations of either team are. Both teams approach this as if it is a bowl game. So in most seasons, this is going to be a very competitive and oftentimes very shocking game. Remember what happened last year. I think Texas wins this game. I think they actually win fairly big. Whenever a team like OU has a new coach, they're installing new systems with a new quarterback, there's going to be some hiccups. There's going to be some challenges. I think Texas takes advantage of these uh, aforementioned challenges and wins fairly handily against OU. On October 15th, the Horns return to DKR to face off against Iowa State. This should be a very competitive game. Iowa State traditionally plays Texas very, very hard. And it doesn't really matter what the talent differential may be. In this instance, though, Texas pulls out a very close victory at home against the Cyclones. Week 8 sees the Horns hitting the road to go to visit Oklahoma State in Stillwater. This is where the Horns stumble, in my opinion. Not only are they facing off against a team that almost won the Big 12 championship last season, probably a better team this season than Texas, they're on the road, and most importantly, they are at the end of an eight-week stretch of consecutive games. I think by week eight in Stillwater, Texas is completely exhausted. They are worn out and they drop what could be a big loss to the Oklahoma State Cowboys. After the bye week, Texas hits the road again, going to the Little Apple in Manhattan to face off against Kansas State. Kansas State, the dark horse prediction for some to win the Big 12 championship. I think this is going to be another tough matchup. Kansas State traditionally plays Texas very, very close. And again, it doesn't matter what the records are. Texas pulls out a very, very tough victory on the road in Manhattan against Kansas State. Now, the next week, November the 12th, Texas gets to come home again to Austin. They face off against TCU. I think this will be a very big victory for Texas. TCU going through some staff changes, some coaching changes. They're trying to figure themselves out at this juncture. 
UT takes advantage of that and wins big at home. The next week, November the 19th, the Horns hit the road again, Texas at Kansas. Oh, I think most Longhorn fans remember what happened last year at home against Kansas. Certainly, the players remember that as well. And because of that, Texas wins big on the road at KU. And this leads us to the final game of the season, Friday, November the 25th, at home against Baylor. Baylor, a top 10 team going into the season, the defending Big 12 champions. I think they are just too much for Texas in Austin. I think Baylor wins fairly handily in this game. When it's all said and done, Texas ends the season with a 9-3 record, a significant improvement over the 21 season. And for the first time in perhaps a decade, Texas fans see some light at the end of the tunnel. This is Kevin Newsom saying God bless each and every one of you. Hook'em horns, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.